Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm excited to share how straightforward it is to take your application graphs to the next level using Google Charts. Let's delve into the exciting world of data visualization. We'll be focusing on three key areas in this video. First, we'll take a look at our Charts demo. Then, we'll explore the demo that serves as a starting point for integrating Google Charts into your own projects. And finally, we'll discuss how simple it is to expand upon this foundation to support even more chart types. I'll demonstrate just how quick and straightforward it is to create modern, interactive charts from various data sources, be it data windows or SQL statements, by reusing the demo code. You can find more ways to leverage the demo on our GitHub page. Remember, all the resources and code snippets mentioned in this video are available in the description below. Now, let's dive into our example graph application. If you're using Power Builder 2022 R3 and opted for the demo projects during installation, you'll find this demo readily available by running the example graph app. If not, don't fret. You can download both the source code and the PB demo DB from our GitHub repository. Once everything is configured, let's fire up the application and explore its features. Notice the welcome page of this app provides a succinct summary of what's needed to make Google Charts work and offers a sneak peek of the chart in action. As you can see, Google Charts provides enhanced interaction and responsiveness right out of the box without additional programming. One of the most exciting aspects of this application is its ability to dynamically create charts from various data sources whether it's through graph data windows, configured queries, or manual SQL statements, Google Charts can handle it all with ease. Now, let's integrate Google Charts into a new project. All you need to do is export the web browser object that holds all the main logic for working with Google Charts and import it into our project. Then, copy the chart and chart 3D HTML files into the project's directory. We already have a simple data window that you want to turn into a chart it's as easy as inserting the custom web browser object into the window, setting up the data and default options, and executing the apply function. And just like that, your chart is up and running. This web browser object doesn't just work with data windows. You can also pass it an SQL statement. And I'll demonstrate this through a new chart type, the bubble chart. By making a few adjustments to our web browser object and updating the Google Charts library, we can effortlessly incorporate new chart types into our applications. First, we need to add support for the bubble chart type in the apply method. This specific chart requires data with at least three dimensions, so we'll also need to create a function that generates the data for the chart. Since the Google Charts version included in the demo may not be the latest and might not contain a bubble chart, we'll update the libraries to ensure we have access to the latest features. We'll do this by editing the chart's 3D HTML file in the project directory and replacing the contents of the head section. Additionally, we'll also modify the chart initialization code to accommodate our latest changes. Now, run the application and enter an SQL syntax that provides the appropriate data. That's it. We got our bubble chart. See how easy it is to extend the web browser object to support more chart types. Google Charts offer many more types and you can find them all on Google's documentation page. If you're interested in adding support for more chart types, just follow the same procedure I just demonstrated. Just remember, you might need to update the Google Charts library to an even newer version and feel free to use the demo's code or parts of it in your own application to simplify the deployment of Google Charts onto your programs. In conclusion, Google Charts offer a plethora of possibilities to enhance your application graphs. And with our demo application serving as a foundation, the process becomes even more streamlined. That wraps it up for today, folks. If you're eager for more of these short tutorials, let us know by dropping a comment down below or scheduling a demo meeting with an AppYoung expert. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more Power Builder tips and tricks.
Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.